Hello friends, welcome back to the tutorial. Our next topic is regular expressions. Regular expressions represent regular languages. Regular language is a set of strings. Basically languages are nothing but they are set of strings. So each regular expression represents a set of string. We call these set of strings regular set. Right? So we have a regular set corresponding to each regular expression. Operators of regular expressions represent operations on regular languages or on regular sets. First we will discuss what type of operations can be represented by the operators of regular expressions on regular languages. First we will discuss the op these operations of regular languages which can be represented by the operators of regular expressions. Then we will discuss regular expressions along with its operators. So the first operation is union. Now suppose we have two regular languages L1 and L2. L1 has two strings A and B. L2 also has two strings C and D. Then union of L1 and L2 is a set of all strings of set L1 and set L2. L1 union L2 is a set containing all the strings of set L1 and all the strings of set L2. Next operation on regular languages which can be represented by the operator of regular expression is concatenation. Now concatenation of L1 and L2 is represented by L1 dot L2 and it is a set of all strings which are formed by concatenating any string of set L1 with any string of set L2. Right. See this string PD. How it is formed? In PD is formed by concatenating the string B of set L1 with the string D of set L2. Right. Third operation is clean closure. It is represented by star. Clean closure of L1 is represented by L1 star. Right. So L1 clean closure is a set having empty string and all those strings which can be formed from the strings of set L1. Now how the strings of L1 clean closure are formed from the strings of L1? It is very simple. Take any number of strings from set L1 and remember same string can be taken more than once. Now the strings which you have taken concatenate them. When you concatenate them, the string of L1 clean closure, the string of L1 clean closure is formed. Now see this string ABA, how it is formed. We took first A string of L1, then we took string B of L1, then again we took the string A of L1, and then we concatenated these all three strings. Right. It, L1 clean closure is an infinite set because infinite number of strings can be formed from the strings of set L1. Right. Next is plus L1. Next operation is plus closure. It is represented by plus sign. So plus closure of language L1 is represented by L1 plus. Right. It is represented by plus symbol L1 plus. Now it is also a set of strings. Right? It includes all strings of L1 clean closer. L1 plus closer includes all strings of L1 clean closer except this empty string. Right? Now we will discuss what the regular expressions are and how it is represented and what type of regular sets these regular expressions represent. Now first empty string is a regular expression. The regular set corresponding to this regular expression includes only empty string. Right? So empty symbol. This empty symbol is a regular expression. 
pi is also a regular expression right now the regular set corresponding to this regular expression doesn't contain any element it is a null set any symbol a which belongs to the set of input symbol of any finite automata is also a regular expression so regular set corresponding to any input symbol a which is a, also a regular expression is a set having only that input symbol a now suppose r1 and r2 are two regular expressions and capital r1 and capital r2 are the regular sets represented by these regular expressions correspondingly Suppose R1 represents a regular set R1 and R2 represents a regular set R2, right? Then R1 plus R2 is a, also a regular expression. So the regular set represented by this regular expression R1 plus R2 is R1 union R2, right? Now R1 R2 is also a regular expression, right? So the regular set represented by this regular expression is R1 concatenation R2. R1 clean closure is also a R1 clean is also a regular expression. Regular set corresponding to this regular expression is R1 clean closure. R1 plus is also a regular expression. And regular set corresponding to this regular expression is R1 plus closure. I have already told you what these capital R1 and R2 are. Capital R1 is a regular set corresponding to the regular expression R1 and R2 is a regular set corresponding to the regular expression R2. So thank you very much for watching this tutorial. In next tutorial we will discuss some few problems of regular expressions.